I think the biggest things are people and emotions, managing mm -hmm. my own emotional health and psychology. So as as I moved from doing all the work myself to depending on team, a team to help me do the work and hiring that team and managing that team, everything got scary for a while. Like I was all of a sudden, I was not writing this piece of content that we were going to turn around to a client and charge them a lot of money for. And I felt this almost like fear that oh, what if they screw it up? It's going to look like I'm a failure. Right. And that that's a very common fear. And so initially early on, especially when a single client would come back and say, this isn't what we wanted. I got, re it really affected me. Like I couldn't sleep at night sometimes when that happened and it took a while. I mean, the first year was a lot of sleepless nights over like mm. worrying about losing clients, worrying about like screwing something up, worrying about making a bad hire, having to fire somebody or something like that. Like all these things happened in the first year that I had never really encountered before. Um, and managing, like keeping myself level and not like on these emotional swings all the time was extremely difficult. And so I, I don't know if this is helpful, but I did find a few coping mechanisms that helped mm -hmm. me personally. Um, and so for me, it was finding some peer groups. So I'm in a couple mm -hmm. of different peer groups that are like groups of other entrepreneurs who we all struggle with this kind of emotional ups and downs. We talk about the difficulty of it. I found uh, a a coach, a executive coach who also helps me a lot. It's a it, coaching is funny. It's a almost therapy, but also very forward facing. And so it ends up being a lot of like me talking about the, the fears and worries I have and him talking about like, okay, how do you overcome that? How do you start to like make a plan? Like, what do you do there? And it's really helpful uh, as well as um, having mentors who've been through this mm. who are five or 10 years ahead of me. They can look back and say, yeah, I remember what that that's like, like, you'll be fine. You know, we all got through that. And it's not that uncommon to feel that way. So finding solutions like that. And besides that, like keeping up with your physical health like, or my physical health, that's a huge one for me, but, but anything else, like trying to get sleep in order, like all that is really helpful. Uh, again, it helps to have a supportive spouse and awesome kid to spend time with, but it's tough. I mean, it's, I don't, I don't want to go back to that year one again, if I can help it. 